Hey, what's up? I'm Allie and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my March book haul. I have quite a stack here because I did go thrifting um, this past month for some books that I'm going to use for a video. Um, so, you know, once you see what I got, maybe you can guess what. Before we get into the book haul, I do want to talk about today's sponsor and that is Book of the Month. You've probably heard me talk about them before. I love this service so much. I think it is such a fantastic service if you are looking for something new to try out, a new read that's almost like guaranteed to be fantastic. And also if you're just looking to expand your library collection, yeah, mm -hmm. I don't have a problem with that at all. I think this is a really affordable service as well. It is about $15 a month. However, you can get your first box for $9.99. How it works is that every month there is a selection of handpicked books from a variety of like new debut diverse authors and you can go on there and you can see exactly like what kind of genre it is or what kind of things it has included in it, things that you might like and then you can choose a book from that. It's really Really great price because again it's like $15 for a hardcover book. All their books are hardcover. Good thing is too is if for some reason you're just not feeling any of the selections or if you're just too busy in life to be reading uh, you can skip without any charge. But if you use the code SPRINGFUN you can get your first box for $9.99 and I am going to show you this month's selection. So the selections for April are Arsenic and Adobo. It's like a cozy mystery I believe and it's like culinary based. It's about a woman who after a breakup she's you know back home kind of dealing with some other issues with her family. She's got some aunties who are trying to set her up on all kinds of like matchmaking things. Her ex-boyfriend who is a food critic comes in and right after he has a confrontation with her he drops over dead and basically the investigation is centered around her because they think that she is the one and only suspect so she has to start an investigation of her own to clear her name. I'm gonna put this. Sure. That works. Then there is What Comes After and this is about two teenage boys go missing and then after they've gone missing I believe they are like confirmed dead. The families are kind of you know trying to figure out what to do next and then a pregnant teenage girl kind of emerges from nowhere and into their lives. However, she is hiding something that may be connected to these boys' deaths. And the family has to kind of reckon with what that might be, what the connection might be, and how she may have played a role in this. So I think this one sounds so good. And I feel like I've been seeing this on a lot of like book buzz type newsletters I've been seeing. Next we have Hunting Wives, The Hunting Wives, and this follows Sophia who kind of gives up like her successful city life to settle down in a small Texas town and she's finding life to be quite boring. She ends up finding out that there's kind of this elite clique that gets together at night and has like this target practice type thing and the more she becomes involved in this like clique, the further she gets from the safety of her family. Then the then one day a dead teenage girl is found where they have their target practice and now she has to, you know, figure out what happened and if this click might play a role in it. Next we have Liberty and this is about a young black woman who is kind of expected to go to med school by her white passing mother and she knows that there are restraints to that. There are not equal opportunities for her and she's drawn a little bit more to music and arts and whatnot and in order to try to find some of this freedom she ends up accepting a proposal from a man who claims you know promises that she will be equal to him however she finds out that she will never be equal to any men in her life according to them and I do believe that this is about kind of her struggles with that and is based around I believe the first black female doctor as well so I think that this sounds so good I've been seeing so many good things about this and seeing this hyped up everywhere so I'm very excited to get to this and then the last one I'm so excited for because I loved 
beach read last year and so I was so excited when I opened this up and found people we meet on vacation. This is about Alex and Poppy and they have been best friends since college and they've always gone on these vacations together because they live quite far apart until that is one year there is a trip that goes much different than expected and they haven't done it since. Someone asked her when the last time she was happy and she realizes that it was on that ill-fated trip and convinces him to go on another trip to kind of refix the things that had gone wrong. And of course I'm sure things happen and they have to face the fact that there's probably some feelings there, you know, just a guess. So I think that this is going to be so much fun. I love Emily Henry's writing and I think this is going to be a really quick read and I'm very excited to read this sitting by a pool somewhere hopefully. Those are April's book of the month picks. Don't forget you can use Spring Fun to get your first box for $9.99. I will have a link down below. Thanks again to Book of the Month for sponsoring this video. Again it's just a service that I really adore. All right now let's get into everything that I got. Uh, first I'm going to talk about some of the books that I bought. Uh, Chain of Iron came out. I think it came out this past month. I honestly don't know. I just saw that it was available and I was like oh yeah I'm collecting those for now. I don't know anything about this. This is the second in the Last Hours series. I don't know. I haven't read I haven't finished like the Lady Midnight series at this point I'm just gonna wait until basically she's done and then attempt to binge read them I've been kind of tired with her writing but again this is just a series that I like collect and own and eventually will read so I thought I could at least get a collector's first edition while I was doing it again I don't know anything about this series I'm sure everyone has been talking about it oh my god it's so large but there it is I have nowhere for it Okay, that works for now. Another one that I ended up buy buying was How We Fight White Supremacy. I am trying to get more of a non-collection, non oh my god. I'm trying to get a non-fiction collection together to have on my shelves and I have found, although I've gotten these in the past from the library, I think that these are great to own. That's why I can highlight and tab and make notes of anything that I find of importance. So this is exactly what it says it is. So there is that. I'm very excited to end up getting into this. I always feel constricted when I get it from the library because I'm like oh my god I'm not gonna have the time to properly like digest the things that I'm reading so it's just easier to own them. Another one that I got that I was on my most anticipated releases of the year was Fat Chance Charlie Vega. That's right right yeah. This is about a girl who is trying to you know accept her body despite the fact of hearing like be thinner, be whiter, and she ends up dating a classmate and you know thinks that everything's great. He's the first worthwhile person to like really give her attention and really accept her as she is only to find out that he had asked out her best friend first. So now she's kind of questioning what that means and you know what does that mean about her body? What does that mean about her friendship? What does that mean about her relationship? And I just think that this sounds so good so good. Plus the cover is just stunning so I'm excited about this. It it's, was top of the list. I don't normally buy books anymore but I had to have that one. So then I had seen Jenna on Twitter talking about how this next book was like a dark academia. I had all these other things and I was like done. Got it. It's in my cart. It's bought. Like that's all I needed to hear. Um, this is I believe a indie published book and that is the Atlas 6 by Olivia Blake and this cover first of all is so cool. So this is about a, a secret society of magicians and only six of them are picked like the six best magicians are picked like every decade. Yeah, only the six most uniquely talented magicians are selected to be considered for initiation. And I do believe that we follow the latest round of the six of them. And whenever they are put into kind of the contest to be initiated, they are told that like five will be initiated and one will be eliminated. So I do believe that this is based around that. I think that this sounds fantastic. Um, An Unkindness of Magicians is one of my favorite books and I think that this takes some of my favorite things 
uh, magician tournaments, possibly secret societies, dark academia, and like puts it all into one. And I'm so excited about this. So thank you, Jenna, for recommending this book. I cannot wait to get into it. And then into the things that I ended up thrifting, I ended up buying a copy of Friday Black. This is a collection of short stories about basically being black and how society treats people and I just love short story collections. I'm trying to have more of a short story collection. I read a lot from the library but I would like to own a lot more so I've been trying to find some as I see them and pick them up but I did read some of the first few stories in this and I thought it was excellent from what I had read so I needed a copy immediately. I also again going along with having more nonfiction, picked up Blood at the Root and this is about racial cleansing in America. Do you think that this looks at not only black communities but also the Cherokee community as well and how different erasures in history had happened of these communities? This is by a white author. Just a note but I have heard really good things about this so I'm excited to, well I'm not excited to learn about those things but I'm very interested to learn about those things. Next we have, um, what is this about? I don't even know. Then we have Never Let Me Go. This follows three friends and I do believe it looks back on how they went to a boarding school together and like the things that made them special and how like this boarding school was so clicky and the teachers were overbearing and blah 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 blah. And now they're adults and they're looking back on their lives about what made them each so special and the things that like tie them together for the rest of their lives. It's fairly short. I was surprised at how short this looks. I also picked up King of Thorns. I don't know anything about this. I did once upon a time I think have it on my Amazon wish list um, but I do think it's like some sort of fantasy. I don't really know. I know people have read this but I don't know if I've ever seen a review for it. I just realized this is book two. <laughs> okay well apparently the first one is Prince of Thorns so I guess I am pretty sure I had even double checked and was like, oh yeah, this one's the first one because they had another one there. I wonder if I accidentally picked up the second one and had left behind the first one. Oh my god. Okay, well anyway, this is the second in a series that I don't know anything about. I'm afraid to read the synopsis because I don't want to be spoiled for anything in case I do. Um, so there's that. I just picked it up because it looked in interesting and I knew that it was something that at once upon a time had been on my radar. Uh, by the time he was 13 he was a leader of a band of bloodthirsty thugs. At 15 he is intended to be king. He needs to go back to the castle and take back what is rightfully his. It sounds a little bit like Last Kingdom. I'm here for it. I also grabbed, and this has a sticker on the front, The Year of the Gadfly. I've heard really good things about this. This is about a school that has a secret society that is kind of threatening the school's reputation. It's exposing pretty much all the people that it can. And this follows a journalist who thinks that she can kind of infiltrate and figure out what's going on. But as she gets deeper into what she is learning and investigating, she realizes that, you know, it's not going to be so easy to report about the things that she is learning. There's that. I also grabbed, this is a book that is recommended to me many times. I did not know how big this freaking book is. But that is Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norell. I love the simplicity of this cover. I like it. It's, it looks like not real <laughs> to me. But I think that this deals with magicians and maybe has a magician tournament as well. Mr. Norell apparently is like a well acclaimed magician and he goes into the war at the time and ends up finding out that Jonathan Strange is another one that is coming onto the scene and he kind of becomes a pupil of Mr. Norell and finding out the magic system but I believe Jonathan becomes quite obsessed with like more of the darker parts of magic and he's looking into that and kind of falling into that and Mr. Norell has to kind of figure out, you know, is this worth it? Uh, it does he need to step in here and do something about it? So that's what I've heard. I've heard that this is just fantastic. The last thing I picked up at the surf store was the Lake of Dead Languages. This is again about a school and I do believe that this is a woman who is returning to a school after she had left the academy um, as a teacher. She's coming back as a teacher and we follow how whenever she was a student there 
um, she was close friends with this group and then weirdly uh, her, all of her friends but her end up uh, dying and it is supposedly suicide. So I'm assuming that we will look back into the past of the things that had been done and learn more about the things that they had gotten into. The book that I got in my Fair Loot Box this month, this past month, was This Golden Flame and this has these beautiful red pages. I honestly hadn't heard much about this. This I believe is a sci-fi and it's about this girl who her brother is lost in this society that just does not care about familia ties and whatnot and she's trying to find her brother and in the process of finding her brother she ends up coming across this like lost automation type thing and I believe that they grow cro close and are on a mission to find her brother but of course like there's more automations where he came from and like I think there's more to it so um yeah this is not ever a concept that I've ever considered and I honestly don't know how to feel about it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know yet. Last few things are the library books that I checked out. I honestly chilled out on my library checking out in because I had 50 books out <laughs> for Ari and that was not happening. So I only have three here. Um, one of which is the X Talk. I think that this sounds like just such a cute romance. So this is about two people that work for a radio station, and I believe that they cut like they, they butt heads. They can't stand each other, but they have to work together. And she comes up with this idea to do the segment where they have two exes come together and talk about you know how the relationship went and things like that and the head of the network is basically like okay will you two do it he thinks that they would be great for it because they already despise each other <laughs> so he puts them on the case and of course as they spend more time together they realize maybe they don't hate each other each other as much as they think i also picked up chuck Palahniuk's new book which is the invention of sound his stuff is always interesting and I do feel like I was kind of in the mood for this. I do very much have to be in the mood for his work because it's so out there and outlandish at times. Follows a guy who lost his daughter and after years of her being missing he comes across the lead and he's like getting back into that investigation. But this also follows a woman who um, has kind of climbed up in the ranks in Hollywood as being like this top tier sound producer, especially when it comes to like horror sounds, and has used her father's methods to kind of tweak them to where they need to be to the point where the screams almost sound real in her sound effects. So I'm assuming that these two stories are going to be tied together. So I don't know this seems unlike his normal stuff and it seems almost like a normal murder mystery so I'm interested to see how that ties together. As you can see I was very drawn to pink at the library apparently. I don't know. I, I don't know. And then the last one I picked up is Persephone Station. Um, this is much thicker than I thought it was gonna be, I'm gonna be honest. So this takes place on Persephone Station which I believe is like a, a planet that like no one really cares about. They don't do much with it until a corporation decides that they want to exploit some of the things that this planet has. And this follows, I believe, Rosie, who owns a bar who kind of caters to the unsavory type. And then also Angel, who kind of has this organization, semi-organization of like criminals, wayward assassins, washed up mercenaries. Um, and basically she and her group are hired by Rosie to do some sort of job which may put them against, in a war against this corporation. I'm just trying to read a little bit more sci-fi and step outside of my comfort zones with that. So I just feel like I just hadn't found the right sci-fi for me maybe. Plus it sounds really intriguing. So that is all of the books. That was one, two, three. That was about 20 books that I had to show you. Uh, will I ever stop? Probably not. Did I just clean my shelves off of books? Yes, I did. Are we gonna have to do it again? Probably. <laughs> we will see. Anyway, let me know if you've read any of these, what I should read first, what video you think I'm going to be working on soon. I hope that you guys have liked this video. Don't forget to subscribe to see future book calls from me. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.